What's up, YouTube? You're watching Ready, Set, Drone, and today I am here with Jace, my buddy, who was also a speaker Yay. last year at um, Spin Up. If so, if you were at Spin Up 2019, you would have seen him speak about his amazing adventure landing a big, big uh, UAV yeah. on a moving boat yes. ship yeah. at sea. So, <laughs> but he's here today because he's actually never flown the GEP RC. Uh, rocket or rocket light and so we're going to do a comparison between the GEP RC rocket and rocket light to see if the extra weight or savings from the Cadex Vista is worth it or if they fly about the same all right so Jace tell me a little bit about just just in 30 seconds tell me about yourself oh uh, Air Force veteran yeah helicopter pilot uh, got out of the service uh, two years ago and come into drones because that's where the future of aviation is so uh, bounce around doing cargo drones for two years and then got picked up to fly uh, for a manned EV toll company that's here in Austin yeah yeah so so this is something that is actually on the horizon you guys have already done test flights with this mm -hmm. thing you've got hours on it you've got lots of redundancy in it but a little different story from these little yeah. mini quads, right? It's a, it's, it's, but in some ways it's like the same tech, just blown up big. A lot of the same um, uh, processing power, the same kind of motor, same kind of batteries, just everything's at a much bigger scale for that aircraft actually. Yeah. Nice, nice. Well, we have here today the, as I said, the Ca um, Cadex Vista version rocket light right there. And then in this other backpack here is the Rocket Plus. We'll get that out. And he and I are gonna fly together. I don't get to fly with other people that often, so I'm super excited. So let's get him out and get him in the air. Let's do it. All right, so yep. this is Jace's first time flying this little guy. Yeah, let's see what you can do. Oh man. Just, just the HD to start is just amazing. Yeah, it really, I mean, it's such a game changer from analog. No, it's it's incredible. One thing I love doing is flying along the top of the fence like that. Just the, right uh, along yep, the fence it line. gives you yeah, it's a great line. Kind of shows you specifically with this little drone and the this with the stabilization on here, it makes you see like how good that flow is. That it just it just holds a line if you're just really gentle with the input. So I can see how you could you could get some good film. With yeah, this absolutely. In a you, in a small package, especially if you especially if you um, did some uh, post to it, if you did some warp stabilization to it in post. Yeah, and then of course it'll be interesting to see how the video between this and the plus comes out. I love I love the fact that I can actually see a little ant. I can see some ants crawling across the launch pad. I, yes, I can confirm they are there. It's a real thing. The, uh, Oh yeah, that picked up a lot better. Okay, I saw you come off. I'm chasing you now. Oh, okay, haha, -ha, you looped back around. Yeah. All right, well, I'll try to be not too crazy. Right. Okay. Well, whichever, man. I'm just, I see you down low. Down low by the fence. Oh, this is cool. I'm gonna go through. Oh man, now <laughs> this is the challenge, huh? I call it the Red Devil. The Red Devil, gotcha. See, I know that back in the day. <laughs> Oop, I lost ya. I'm up pretty high now. Okay. I'm down low in the middle next to one of the football lineman hitters. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is such Orbiting. a nice field to fly at. Whoa, there you are. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> uh, I don't see you yet. I got you. I got you. you. Okay, you're orbiting me. You're orbiting my orbit. Oh, oh. Were you like a? So you're like a? Ah, I got you. Visual. Low. <laughs> ah. <laughs> this is why I am. Ah. <laughs> that was cool. Did you make it through the red devil? Uh, I did. I did. Oh. Woo -hoo -hoo! Bounce off the ground a little. She came up fast. There we go. Red devil. I have you out front. Yeah, oh man. Eight. Okay, I'm 14 8, so I'm still. You're gonna fly over us? Oh, nice. Time to follow. 
Oh, that's great. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm on the outside of the trees, towards the parking lot, swinging the around the trees. If you understand it, I'm gonna leave. Right. <laughs> I'm still cranking. I'm cranking my neck. This is an older battery that I've got going. Yeah. Red Devil. Are you an acro or stab? Okay, see, that's the thing. Of course. All right. So you just switched over to acro for the first time. How's it feel? It's it's feeling great. It's uh, good, it's smooth. Look at that. Yeah. It just does what I want. I, I, finally, I finally realized, because I used to be kind of afraid of acro, and now when I fly and stabilized, I really do feel that sort of fighting against me thing that people talk about. You know, they say... They say that stabilized fights you. It's I can see it's really good for different things. And if if so for chasing or being a good platform for someone to chase, I can see how stabilized would work really well for that. Um, versus being the chaser, um, having that extra ability to uh, to point down and motion your camera the way you want. Oop. Yep, turtles. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I disarmed it on hitting the ground, but then it won't rearm because it's upside down, of course. Ah. So, <laughs> so she's is right it, over there. We'll just have to go get it. Is it in the field? Yeah, it's, it's oh. very close to the um, to the pole. To well, the field goal. Your choices are uh, hop the fence or walk around. I can probably make the fence. <laughs>
I think I just caught that. I hope so. Jace, thanks for coming out today, man. What did you oh. think of the rocket and the rocket light? I, I really enjoyed it. Um, I have limited um, real world uh, quad experience, especially digital, but this was really fun. What, the word that kept came, coming up between us was accessible. Um, this makes flight accessible. Uh, we were able to kind of go between this small field. We were chasing the plane. You're able to come and explore in the trees here and every and and feel like you can send this guy out and you know if you hit something you go pick it up dust it off we did that today yeah, uh, yeah. courtesy of me this is really good way to just go out and enjoy the hobby in a, in a you know you can have a smaller space um, and I, I really enjoyed it. So overall, you know, you said you couldn't really feel a weight difference in your hands. Did you feel a difference flying the Rocket Light versus the Rocket Plus? I didn't, but you know, I'll chalk that up to experience and the uh, lack of a, of a really good scientific method. You said you were noticing some maybe flight time difference. And I, I, I imagine that a really well-tuned set of hands would notice the weight difference in the air. But to someone who's, uh, not quite got that depth of experience on the, this type of platform. Uh, it, it wasn't readily apparent. I, I enjoyed both, so. And I would say overall too, uh, this was my first time to fly the Rocket Light and then the Rocket Plus back to back. So for me, I did notice uh, the flight time difference. Uh, it seemed to get, it felt like the Rocket Plus was dying out a lot quicker mm -hmm. than the Rocket Light. And then, um, Performance wise though, you're right. They're both just they're just both little beasts, you know, that can <laughs> that can do all kinds of stuff. And the confidence to fly around in tight spaces, I, I really can't say enough good things, especially if you're just getting into FPV. Um, yeah. my recommendation, as I've said a few times now, is one of these guys, maybe the rocket light, if you don't care about 1080 footage, if you're okay with 720 footage, then you know you're not a YouTuber or something, then just go with the rocket light with the Cadex Vista and the digital system and it really really is something that's very accessible especially in um, horizon mode you know when you start oh, yeah. flying in horizon mode or angle mode it's it's uh, super it, it really is um, pretty easy to just kind of push it around obviously you don't have the GPS that you might have with a bigger quad but then you'll get into flying in acro and then you won't want to fly in in angle or horizon anymore yeah, yeah, we, we started out the day, you know, it had been a while since I'd flown something like this. And so was, I started out in, in angle mode and just really quickly went into acro and it was it was great. It was, you needed it to do the chase and keep Absolutely. everything in footage. Um, but yeah, if you're starting out, you know, it was it was there and it was stable and, you know, flying down the fence line, it was man, it was just great. Well, Jace, again, thank you so much for joining today. Uh, very excited to do Absolutely. more stuff with you in the future. Yes. And, more stuff and uh <laughs> jace jace has got some pretty exciting stuff going on with his uh company right now which uh hopefully we'll be able to talk about in future videos yeah i hope so all right take care thanks for watching see you next time on race and drone <laughs>